welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a perfume collection video because y'all i got me i'm not gonna say a lot because i don't have a lot i have a decent amount of perfumes and i feel like I should share it with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Keeping the girls smelling good, giving y'all some recommendations, or just showing y'all some stuff that maybe you thought about buying, but you never bought it, or you've seen it, and you want to know if it's worth buying before you buy it, or whatever it is. So, let's get straight into the first perfume that I have. So, the first perfume that I'm going to show y'all today is the one is one that i recently just got so i recently got this perfume right here and it is an ariana grande perfume i'm not sure what the exact name is let me check what the name is okay so the name of this perfume by ariana grande it's called moonlight and i recently got this one for christmas my mom bought it for me this is how the bottle looks this little puffball it's super cute and it smells really good it smells like it smells fresh but like powdery but it has that flowery scent to it so if you like it's not super sweet so it doesn't give you that like candy smell or anything like that it gives you that subtle but flowery fresh smell so if you like scents like this, you should probably try it. And it's actually pretty affordable. I think it's affordable, so it's not too much. So if you want something subtle, you know, you just want to start off your perfume collection, you can start off with something calmer like this. It doesn't always have to be something big and expensive and bold. It could be something calm like Let's this. Let's move on to the second one. So the second perfume that I have is this Elizabeth Arden Red Ore. Um, my dad bought me this. I had a bigger bottle, but I think it finished and then he bought me like this small one or it was my mom that bought me this small one. And then it's literally a red door perfume. And this one gives you that strong, like, it kind of gives you that very sweet smell, like that very sweet smell like this gives you that candy smell not too candy that's like childish but a good sweet candy smell it smells really 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 good this also i don't think it's very expensive either okay so i don't think it's expensive either it is 38 you can get this one at 38 dollars at ulta so it's not as expensive so this is a cute little one to start off your collection with as well so it's not bad it's pretty good you can get this one out try it if you like it but yeah as you can see it's kind of used i don't really use it as much but still still like it okay so the next two perfumes that i have are from the same brand that i tried out me and my mom actually tried them out so yeah so the first perfume here is the brand is dossier so if you don't know what dossier is this is not a promotion or anything like that or sponsored i'm just telling you that i actually tried it so if you don't know what dossier is dossier is basically a perfume site that sells you perfumes it sells you dupe perfumes of brands so this one is called Amber Vanilla, and it is the dupe for the YSL Black Opium. So basically, it's gonna smell just the same as the YSL Black Opium for a cheaper price. So I got this for 20, 24, no, twenty nine ninety nine 
on dossier and it smells amazing like it smells i'm sure it smells just like the ysl black opium i don't have the real ysl black opium but maybe i'm sure that it smells it is actually really high quality the bottle is very minimalistic it's very like just sleek just to the point it gives you the ingredients on the top they give you a good amount of perfume this is 1.7 fluid ounces they give you a good amount of perfume for the price as you can see your girl been using it up because it's really really good it tells you the fragrances on it like cedarwood vanilla coffee orange blossom jasmine mandarin pear pink pepper like it tells you everything that's on here so it's really really good if you want to get the actual brand of the ysl black opium by all means if you want to try it out before you buy the actual expensive bottle to see if you like it you could just buy this one for 24.99 but i feel like it's better to just buy this one instead of buying the other one if you want to smell the comparison to it i would say go to sephora ulta macy's wherever and get like a try it smell like the little scent smells or or you could just go in there spray it see how you like the smell and see if it smells just like this and i'm sure baby girl it smells the same it smells the exact same y'all i don't care i know it smells the exact same. the next okay. perfume that i have from dossier is called floral i don't know this word so don't even get i mean it's all dyes floral all dyes i don't know but it's the dupe for the chanel number five so guess what yeah if you want a chanel number five and you as you can see i don't really use this for the simple fact that i don't use it as much but let me show you guys how it looks that's how it looks and as you can see i don't really use it as much but i have gotten compliments on it when i use it so that means it's smelling really good but the only thing that i would tell you if you like a very powdery fresh smell then this perfume is for you because it is very very powdery it gives you that powdery fresh smell it don't get me wrong it smells very good but i don't necessarily like a powdery fresh smell as much i kind of go for the sweets like fragrancy i don't really like the powdery as much but it does smell really good and i have gotten compliments on it when i wear it so it does smell really good it's very captivating but it's not my favorite you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to try and see what it smelled like. I didn't really know what it smelled like. Um, but yeah, y'all, this was also $29.99. So if you want to try out Dossier, it's very, 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 very affordable. It's not expensive at all, y'all. It's really, really not expensive at all. You could try it out. I recommend. So the next perfume that I'm going to be showing you guys that I have is Diamonds and Rubies by Elizabeth taylor and look at the detailing around the top of it it's a nice sleek bottle as you can see it's pretty full because i haven't really been using it i also think my dad bought this one for me this is actually also another affordable perfume that you can start off your collection with um this smells good as well it also gives you that powdery fresh smell so if you like that powdery fresh finish you can definitely try this perfume the next perfume is kind of older that i've had as you can see it's like almost like done but this is also another fresh smelling powdery one but i love this one I'm not even telling why haven't I told you guys the name? It's called Perry. It's just called Perry Ellis. I don't know if it has like a, a um I don't know if it has like another like um like a specific name to the fragrance, but it's Perry Ellis. This is another one that gives you a fresh smell, but as you can see, I actually really like it 
because of the simple fact that it gives you that fresh smell, but it has that sweet kick to it. I it's fresh, but it has that sweet kick, so it gives you that like sweet smell, but that fresh smell. I like the combination of fresh and sweet together. I just don't like all the fresh powdery smell. It gives you that powdery, but that sweet smell. So you're not too like smelling like powder, but you're smelling sweet and like you know what I'm saying. That's what this gives me. And honestly, I like that. I like that. It's actually called the Perry Ellis 360. So if you want to try it out, that's what it's called. Um, it's actually also very affordable. I think it's like $31. Not very expensive at all. So if you want to try this out, go ahead. Give it a shot. Let me know. So yeah. Actually, any of these perfumes. If you try them out, you guys, let me know. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if, yeah. Next perfume is going to be the Gucci Bamboo. Gucci Bamboo. So as you can see, if you can't really see, girl, it's almost done. Girl, it's hanging on by a thread. Girl, your girl done wore, tore, destroyed, sprayed this to the ground, okay? I was obsessed with this perfume at one point. I'm not saying I'm not obsessed with it, but y'all, it's almost done. It's, it's almost done. <laughs> but it smells good, y'all. This is also another powdery swell. What I realized is that Gucci makes a lot of fresh, powdery smelling perfumes. I was at Ulta the other day. I mean, not Ulta. I was at Sephora the other day. And I was smelling all the Gucci blooms because they have a Gucci bloom. I was going to get one. And they all smell super powdery and fresh it doesn't smell bad but it's very overpowering if you like smelling like that obviously you're gonna buy it but so the price on this one it's giving me two prices when i look it up i'm not sure how much i paid but online one says that is 120 124 dollars and then one says at ulta it is 91 dollars so it, I would say it ranges from 90 to like maybe 120 130 depends on the fluid ounce size that you get. But this is the bigger size, so it was probably more. This is the 2.5 fluid ounces, so this is on the bigger side. So this one would be more expensive than the other ones, but you could still buy it, try it out, try out the smaller ones, see if you like it. But I do really, 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 really like this Gucci bloom no the gucci band next perfume is this one it's insidious paris and this is how it looks this is how the bottle is shaped it's shaped like a foam like hey girl what's the <laughs> it's shaped like a foam that's like flat like this like it's kind of creative it's, it's giving creative this one is also not as expensive i think maybe it's like 45 30 dollars so yeah it is a more lighter smell it's very light so if you don't like smelling too like ah in your face you can get something like this it's very light very sleek it gives you that nice clean sweet smell to it that is what this definitely gives me you know if you're going out maybe if you're going to like the mall or like you are not into smell as much but you want something that's light and just clean and just sweet like it's not too much or if you have like allergies or if you have like a sinus issue where you can't really wear perfume and you don't want it to like act up your allergies or your sinuses i would recommend this because it's very light it's very just clean and chic so so the next few that i'm about to show y'all these are like my top favorite perfumes okay like my top favorite perfumes so we're about to get into it so the next perfume that i have to show y'all is the marks jacobs daisy perfume you guys as y'all can see it's almost done because it's y'all can see it mark jacobs daisy with the flowers on top of the daisies on top yes sir this is how the bottle looks and you guys 
I love this. I got this for Christmas from my dad. As y'all can tell, most of the perfumes that I have, my dad got for me. For the simple fact that for Christmas, my dad gives me a lot of perfumes for Christmas. That's just what he does. He just gives me perfume. And I'm not complaining, girl, because I love the perfumes that I have. Okay? Okay. So, let's get that out there. Um... I love this perfume, you guys. As you can see, this is the huge bottle. This is the, I think, 4.2 fluid ounce. This is probably like on the more expensive side, like $160, $50 or $20 or something like that. But it smells super, like, y'all. It just, oh my goodness. I could just see myself, like, I would just grab it. I got this for Christmas. I think it was what year were we in we're in 2023 it wasn't 2022 i think it was 2021 i got this christmas 2021 so i've had it for like a year because 2022 just passed so i've had this for a year and as you can see it's it's at the bottom y'all i'm treading lightly with the bottom now because of the fact that i love this it was just a point where i was just wearing this every day I was just grabbing it just every single day. Every day because it was my favorite and it still is my favorite and I love it and I'm not going to throw it away. Like I'm just going to, I'm going to just keep this little, I'm going to just keep it. I'm keeping the rest of this. I'm keeping it because I just love it you guys. Like it's just, it's just great. If you, I recommend this. I recommend this. This is in my top, how much do I have left? One, two, three, four. This is my top four five these are this is in my top five love this love it love it love it love it love it recommend girl go get you this okay get you this i'm, I'm gonna be saying that for the rest of the so next the next one i'm gonna be showing you guys is my chloe that i have chloe super cute with the little bow with the top so i actually got this for my birthday for my mom's friend i think yeah so this is the 2.5 fluid ounces and i love this chloe i be in my chloe it's also that fresh powdery smell but it has that sweet to it so that's why i like the chloe and it's also the bottle is just super cute like the bottle y'all is so cute to me like the bottle is super cute you can't tell me y'all don't think this bottle is cute let me give you guys a price range on this one so the price range between this is probably to like 60 to like 100 if you get in like the bigger size but i think this one is probably like 60 dollars or something like that i didn't necessarily i didn't buy it y'all so i really don't know what the price exactly is but i love this fragrance i i love it i love it this one comes before the mark jacobs daisy so is this one then the mark jacobs daisy i should have did that in the video but y'all y'all gonna get sick of me sick of me and the rest of these sick of me sick of me so the next perfume that i have is the versace bright crystal absolute now absolute absolute girl absolute look at that beautiful look at the bottle like versace 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 what this bottle is really cute i have the yellow one i think there's a bright crystal just a regular one that's in like a yellow bottle and then i finished and then i got this one my dad also got me this one so y'all my dad's into perfume so obviously he's gonna get me into perfumes and stuff like that like get into it and it's actually a really good gift to give people perfumes y'all and this one just hits the spot for me like it's the perfect perfume like it's sweet it's like long lasting like if you walk by somebody and they smell you like girl you smell good what is you wearing you smell good like what huh smells so good let me give y'all a price so this one ranges if you get it at macy's it's 105 this is the no 
that's not that one you can get it at old stuff for 96 dollars the 1.7 ounce this is the three ounces so it'll range from like a hundred dollars and probably like up but y'all this smells really good if i would recommend any perfumes it's gonna be the last few ones that i'm showing y'all and that's probably if you see me anywhere i'm wearing one of these i'm wearing one of the last five one two three one two three four five i'm wearing one of the last five y'all so the last two they're in an ongoing battle in my head because i love them okay love them so next perfume is this valentino yellow i think it's called I think it's called Valentino Yellow something. Yellow Roma or something like that. Y'all, look at the bottle. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed, y'all. I'm obsessed. The detailing. The detailing on this. So this is the 1.7 fluid ounce. And I got this at Sephora. And the price is $123 for this perfume. Like, I never smelt nobody smell the way she smells. He's going to be obsessed. Like, the smell of you is just going to be in his head, in his mind, as you're wearing this perfume. That's how obsessed I am with it. And that's how I think a guy would be. If you walk by a person, they're going to smell this and say she smells good. There's no way you buy this perfume and somebody tells you you smell bad. Because there's just no way. There's just no way. There's just no way. There's just no way. And it. this is the perfume, you guys. This is the perfume. The Marc Jacob Intense. You guys... I love this perfume. This has to be my favorite perfume ever. Look at the detail on this perfume, you guys. I love this perfume. I love it. 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 This perfume gives me romance. It gives me sleek. It gives me chic. It gives me that girl. It gives me like, you're going to remember what I smell like. For sure like you're not gonna forget what I smell like when I wear this perfume around you it's gonna give you a compliment boo it's gonna give you a compliment baby girl because y'all I'm obsessed with this perfume it's my top favorite perfume out of my whole collection and I I just love it as you can see I wore it so much I need to start treading lightly with this y'all I just like savoring perfumes like I don't know I like to savor it and keep them as long as I can. Yeah, you could buy another one, but it's just like by the time you gotta buy another one, you should you buying another one. You don't wanna buy the same perfume. You wanna expand your collection by buying different perfumes. Not the same one. But y'all love this perfume. I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed. This is my number one in my collection you guys and if there's any perfume that i'm recommending to you guys it's gonna be the daisy mark jacobs daisy it's gonna be the chloe perfume it's gonna be the mark jacob i mean not the mark jacob the versace bright crystal absolute the valentino yellow roma i think that's what it's called and the mark jacob perfect intense you guys I'm just letting y'all know if y'all girls, you know what I'm saying? I'm letting the girlies know what I wear so that the girlies can pick whatever you like. I'm not saying you're going to like everything. I'm not saying you're going to, you know, want to buy it. But I'm letting you know what you should buy if you're ever wondering. If you're ever wondering what you should buy. But some things that I like, you might not like what I like. You may like. We might like the same thing. We might be here. And I hope that we're here. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my perfume collection. I have my perfumes on this really nice acrylic tray. I'm going to show you guys in the next clip or the probably the clip before this so i hope you guys enjoyed my perfume collection i hope you guys watched it all
because this was a really good video and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and share this video with y'all friends okay but most importantly don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you guys for supporting me and watching this video till the end i'm hope i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys